Hello everyone, welcome back to Nitya Cloud Tech. Hope all of you are doing good. In this video, we are going to discuss about Azure Synapse. So this is the first video of Azure Synapse where we will discuss about the introduction of Azure Synapse. So before uh, going into that, first uh, we will discuss about traditional VS modern DW architecture. And uh, after that, we will uh, discuss about the modern BS Synapse DW architecture so that you will get idea why Synapse is required uh, after modern DW architecture. So this would be the whole agenda of this video basically. So let's move. So if I talk about traditional data warehouse, so we have like different type of sources like SQL, Oracle, and there may be any other uh, transactional database and we have flat file. Uh, Excel file and others, maybe CSV file or some Salesforce. And uh, after that, what we do, we uh, load all these data into the SSIS. Uh, we can say we load all the uh, all this data into the SQL server using SSIS. So it depends uh, which database you are choosing. So we load there. And in ETL, uh, what we do, we basically do data cleaning and data transformation. And then after that, we load all this data into the data warehouse. Once the data is loaded into the data warehouse into the like form of dimension and effect, then what we can do, we can uh, do analysis on using OLAP. Basically, we can uh, use SSAS and then uh, we can do analytics there or uh, we can use any reporting tool like SSRS or Power BI or any other uh, like Tableau or uh, where we can do reporting and also uh, we can do data mining. So this is the basically typical uh, traditional data warehousing structure. So uh, basically this structure is mostly work on structured data. So we we have only structured data here and we have limited data sources here. Now let's move into the modern data warehousing. So if I talk about modern data warehousing, so here the sources of data are increased and also we have like more option to analyze. So here we have like uh, data coming from CRM system, data coming from LOV, data coming from different graph, data uh, coming from media like video, image, data coming from social media, IoT devices, cloud. So all this uh, type of, and other than that, there are multiple other uh, sources as well. We can ingest into data factory. And then we can uh, be, uh, basically copy this data into the Azure Data Lake Storage Generation. So in Azure Data Lake Store Generation, because this is very effective, cost-effective solution where we store the data. So basically, uh, once you store the data here, you can store any type of data here and any velocity, any size, any, you know, like uh, any volume. After that, uh, like data analyst can use this data and uh, data scientist also can use data and uh, data engineer also use this data as per the business requirement uh, different teams can use this data and uh, you have this two components here difference first is store it is just for storing purpose and another here is explore rep and train using azure data breaks so here you can basically it is for compute basically to transformation to data cleaning so as i mentioned uh different teams can use this type of data so we can use azure data breaks and uh, uh, to prepare the data and once data is prepared we can load the data into the azure sql data warehouse for uh reporting purpose after that once the data is loaded into a SQL data warehouse. So here, if I talk about, like, if I compare with the traditional database, so Azure SQL data warehouse has MPP structure. So basically performance would be faster. And uh, let me show you one more thing. So 
basically if i talk about modern data warehouse so ingesting data from diverse and multiple sources can be expensive time consuming and require multiple solution azure data factory offers a single pay so uh, azure data factory have more than 90 built in connectors to acquire data from big uh, data sources like amazon redshift google ltfc and Right data and others. And previously, you may need to basically, you know, connect with the different services. So that may be time consuming. So this is another ben benefit. And uh, there is some more benefit. Basically, easy to use, cost effective. Uh, you only need to pay uh, which you are using. And it is powerful. Uh, uh, it can give the powerful insight. And uh, like uh, there are many advantage of this. Okay, let me move back into the slide. Okay. Now, this is the another uh, diagram of modern data warehouse where it is showing you can get data from variety of different sources like IoT devices, log files and media or unstructured data. So the main difference is uh, in traditional, you can only um, ingest structured data. Here you have variety of, uh, you know, different sources, structure, unstructured, semi-structured. Okay. And after that, you have this Azure Data Factory. Uh, using that, you can basically load or ingest data and uh, ingest data and load into the Azure Data Lake Storage, which is very cost effective, which I have mentioned and azure data breaks to prepare the data uh, for different teams uh, like different team can bulk uh, and fetch the data from azure data lakes and then after that uh, can do uh, reporting on that using power bi visualizes so now if you see here in modern data warehouse we are using multiple services like azure data factory Azure Data Breaks, Power BI, Azure SQL Data Warehouses. So there are multiple services. So what happens sometimes there may be chance communication cannot happen uh, between multiple services. And sometimes there is a network issue in one of the services. So what happens like uh, it may be time consuming and uh, there may be chance sometime like one of the service uh, network is not available so there there may be different problems if we use the different services so now the microsoft has designed it as your snaps and it is the very powerful tool why because we don't need to connect with multiple services. We have all these services into one. We have unified services. So if I talk about this Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Bricks, Azure uh, Data Lake Generation, all of these are combined into one service that is into Azure Synapse. So if I show you, basically this would be the diagram like all of these services are combined into the one and that is called azure synapse so you know like uh like we, we may not face the issues because since it is only one services so like earlier we we were facing uh network issues and some other issues so here we may not face that type of issues here now let me go back into the slide so basically Azure Snaps Analytics is the next generation of Azure SQL Data Warehouse, blending big data analytics, data warehouse, data integration, and BI into a single unified service that provides end-to-end -end analytics with limitless scale. So you don't need to, you know, create different services for different things. You only need to create one service, Azure Synapse Analytics, where you can do, you know, data integration and, uh, you know, uh, data preparation and creating BI reports. All of the things you can do in the Azure Synapse Analytics. So if you see another diagram, so it is unified where, uh, like, 
यू कैन क्रिएट इट इज पॉवर बी आई इज कनेक्टेड एंड एज योर डेटा शेयर इज कनेक्टेड सो लाइक दिस सो इफ यू सी हेयर दिस इज अनदर डायग्राम यूनिफाइड एक्सपीरियंस वेयर यू कैन do integration management monitoring security reporting okay and it is 14 times faster and if i talk about cost so 94% less than other cloud providers and uh, it has limitless scale powerful insight unified experience security you have port free data orchestration and you have a variety of language to choose like uh, for your etl part uh, you can choose different language like python r sql scala and uh, use sql so there are you have like different choices and uh, this is the basically the combination or i can say comparison between the modern bs synapse architecture so here it all are not connected these all services are different like azure data factory bricks and here all services are connected so you can see connected services like power bi dynamics ml azure data share node work visualization so this is why it is very useful and now all these people are moving into this azure synapse analytics so i hope this video would be helpful in our next video we will try to create azure synapse analytics thank you everyone